Anthony wants to hear Hot Springs. Another original tune. Let's talk a little bit more about uh, Orville. Yeah. Will you talk about what resonated with you about Orville's oh, little man. music? Uh, what did Orville bring to the table? Just his voice, just what he had to say on the instrument was amazing. Uh, God, I, yeah, he, he had these ideas and it was just like, where did that come from? I mean, because everybody, everybody had their own unique, you know, Major had his own thing he was saying with his voice and Benny had his own thing, but when Orville came along, it, it, it's kind of like this equivalent of a Vassar Clemens in the bluegrass world. You could pick him out of a 10,000 fiddle players, and he had such a unique thing, the way he was saying with his vocabulary, and you just go, wow, I can't believe that. And then I just remember when I saw him the uh, first, first time, I think it might have been in Hallettsville, you know, I videotaped Orville and the jam session, and it was amazing to see it in real time. But then I would go home, and I had the, the big refrigerator VHS thing of my sisters. I remember putting the videos in and I was able to slow it down and I would just watch his bowing in slow motion and it's like, holy, nobody does this with their bow. Nobody phrases like this. Mm -hmm. I had to back it up and I think I just, I spent eight hours one day just over, over, over and then I would transcribe it and then I'd have to go because I want to get the Boeing to try to get things written down so I've got these Orville things that he but the Boeing it just go that doesn't make any sense on any level but the way that <laughs> Indian did that you just go it hey. just, I mean it made me bust out windows I, I was <laughs> drinking a lot I stayed up way too long I spent my eyes were bloodshot from looking at his videos and his watching his Boeing and then just screaming into my pillow. No, this genius can't be this freaking, it, it can't be. It can't be. Say, uh, he, he knows. He oh. knows. He, it, Orville touched him just as intensely as he did me. The only parallel that I can really draw would be to say that Orville was like the Thelonious Monk of the old time fiddle. Uh -huh. you know, as far as mm -hmm. the note mm -hmm. choices and mm -hmm. the phrasing and the spot on. Just genius, genius, genius. Mm -hmm. Almost genius to the point where most people couldn't get it. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, man. Yeah, shook my world. I was like, holy cow, where did he come from with this? Because you can kind of see with other players this evolution, you know, where it's tied back to Eck or whatever, but he yeah. just came out of left field with this Boeing and this drive and all these things going on at the same time. Like you said, what he was doing solo-wise, it's like, crap, it wasn't just this part of it. It was this, this monster Boeing. It's this power in there. It's this... And the note choices. And the note choices it just, just grab you. He does say, oh, man, and I'm just going, I broke my station wagon window out on that damn thing. I popped my window because he did something. I, yes! And I smacked the window, and it just took this big old crack all the way across the window. It's like, oh, hell. And there I come. <laughs> but that kind of stuff, that moves you. And I, I'd like to see more kids break windows out nowadays. Yeah, you know, I know? would, too. I, I really too. would. I wish, I wish they'd actually. That. I wish they'd actually study the music the way uh -huh. we did. Yeah. I wish they'd get into it the way we did. Mm -hmm. I'll be moving to Texas. After, I got to go to my senior year in high school, and after that, I'm moving down here. And I'll guarantee you, I'll be up here every two weeks to visit Norval and try to learn some stuff off. Of that sounds good to me. Yeah, I mean, back in the day, we would have crawled on our knees down to Mexico to go get a good tape, you know, because we were hungry for it. And, and I don't see kids uh, willing to walk across the street to go get a Terry Morris, you know, jam tape. It's like, really? I mean, we were scrounging. You got this tape? Oh, man, can I have a copy of that? This, I mean, you knew. We were hungry for it. When you talk about somebody being organically individual and not giving about how they're going to do it in a fiddle contest, I mean, that's, that's Orville Burns. I mean, he was just a spiritual architect a breakdown fiddle music. I mean, he just built it from the ground up. And another thing I watched him do throughout his life, even to the very end, is constantly 
reworking tunes. Mm. You know, of course, he, he, he improvised quite a bit, but he, he was just constantly working on the themes and, and figuring out the ways that he can do the figures differently. Mm. And oh. it's amazing. Uh, I don't know. Can you, uh, I, don't, I don't know if we've given you anything. <laughs> That's all wonderful stuff. <laughs> so... It's, a, it's been fun for me, if nothing else. Let's play so some. let's go play some. Yeah, let's play some. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you doing that. You too, Matthew. <coughs> All right. Thanks, Brand. Sugar bun. <laughs>